Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another edition of Wheel of Fortune right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. It's your boy B back with you. And we are going to do some more Big John's Wheel of Fortune here during uh, our April edition of Takeover Tuesday, where Wheel of Fortune has taken over the uh, channel on Tuesdays now. Um, I've been really enjoying this series because I get to play more Wheel of Fortune, and who doesn't appreciate doing that in their life? But anyway, come in, settle in for the next half hour, play along with me, see how well you would have done as we test our limits against the wheel. And on our last episode, I said we were going to go try to find some air of wheel from like when I first watched Wheel of Fortune during the late 80s. But I looked through all the files, and from the wheels that I found, none of them quite had enough for four rounds until I went into 1992, which is the era where we're going to be playing the deck. So the wheels lay, lay out from 1992, and I did a little, and we're going to be using the retro style set, but with a twist. Um, these are what I call the Plinko sets because they look like the out, the outside borders of Plinko, the game from Price is Right. Yes, we're putting more Price is Right stuff in Wheel of Fortune. Why? Because I want to, because I can't. So. That's what we're going to do on this episode. So we're playing 92 wheel. So in 1992, there was still no there was still no toss up puzzles. There were still no prize puzzles, but we did have red letter puzzles. So red letter puzzles will be in play for this one. And we're going to replace the the prize puzzle prize bases that come up with pink 150s because that was what was underneath the prize wages at the time. So We've got that set. We've got everything set up and ready. Let's jump into it and let's play some more America's Game. It's Big John style. We are fortune. I like that. The pretty blues and greens there. I dig that. This is Will of Fortune. All right, let's get into it. Playing against Gina and Paul, our computer players today. And I moved over to the red position. I'm going to kind of work my way around the entire podium. So we'll see what happens here. Let's take a look at our first puzzle, of course. The classic wheel from 92 looked like this. $1,000 was the top dollar amount on the wheel for the first round. We have a free spin space. We also had a surprise on the wheel in the first round. So let's take a look at our puzzle. The category is on the map. And this is an appropriate 1992 level puzzle <laughs> with that many letters. Let's go. And let's start with 900. May I have a T, please? There is Uno. That's one in Spanish. Awesome. We're on the board, we got 900. And I'm going to spin again. Now, I'm pretty sure I've told this story before, but in case if I have new viewers here on the channel who have never heard me tell this story, um, growing up, like I said, one of the last, from like age three up until about age six, my mother would make me go to bed at eight o'clock. As a kindergarten, as a growing boy, she felt I needed my sleep, plus they wanted me out of their hair for a little while, let's be honest. My mom had a long, my mom worked two jobs at a time, worked a lot of hours, and did not want to have to come home and do anything else. Anything else. My dad would take care of me, but like at that point, they wanted time for themselves, and I respect that now, looking back at it, as I pick up a free spin on this one. But the last two things my mother would let me watch, every night before going to bed, were Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Now, as a kid, I didn't care too much for Jeopardy. Now that I've gotten older, I've become more wiser of the things in the Not world. Bad. There's one. I really appreciate uh, Jeopardy now, especially all things considering that are going on without Alex and his um, fight against uh, cancer right now. So, again, best of luck to him on that. I want to buy a vowel. Can I have the E? But anyway, I would grow up from my age... Like from age three up until about four and a half, five, when I really started learning my alphabet, I kid you not, 
I honestly thought as a kid, the first six letters of the alphabet were R, S, T, L, N, and E. I kid you not. And that was only because, again, my three-year-old brain thought that, hey, they gave them the first six letters. That means they got to pick three of the rest ones. It made sense to me. But, again, I was only three and a half years old. I didn't know any better by that. Now, mind you, this is three and a half circa 1987-88. Um, yeah, so education not nearly as prominent as it was now, but, you know, it is. So now, um, yeah, fast forward. I know my alphabet way better now. And um, it's just always a funny story when I tell it, and people seem to like it. So I figured I'd share with y'all again. All right. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out what the puzzle is, and I'm like, I got it now, but there's one more letter up there, so we're going to basically can't pick up that $1,000 space or the surprise. Even if I hit the loser turn, I've still got a free spin, so. Aww. And I'm going to cash that in right now. I'll use my free spin, and I'll spin again. As we get past the loser turn, we're good. And we're going to pick up $500 for the effort, and I'll pick the D. There is Uno. That's one in Spanish. And I'll solve the puzzle. Southern Idaho. There we go. Congratulations, that's it. Good job. And there we go. And just like that, we start off with a quick $2,000. And we are on the board as we work our way now into round number two. I'm going to let somebody else touch the wheel now. Maybe. Let's go to round two. I believe round two in 1991. Yeah, this is more traditional style wheel fortune that everybody knows and loves. So this is probably around the era. Yeah, we put a $2,500 space on the wheel. We have a prize to the wheel, which is groceries for a year. But a free spin in the surprise space is still out there. And we have a look at this puzzle. The category is phrase. Phrase it shall be. And Gina's going to get started. And Gina gets 900. That's her C, and yep, yeah, one C, she's on the board. Now, considering this is 91, I got $2,000 for the first round. That's actually about accurate. Now, as much as Wheel has, like, budget crunches and things like that, I wouldn't mind Wheel of Fortune going back to this era of there are sort of three wheels stooges. now. There are three chipmunks. I have a I couple of gripes with three current Wheel of Fortune. Puzzle. Now, mind you, these are probably all personal. Some people might oh, agree with me. Some people may not. I don't know. Is that letter in the puzzle? But the start, the minimum amount on the wheel is $500, yeah, and one. the fact that they haven't raised the vowel price to 500 yet bothers me, A. And B, there's nothing wrong with the amount of money that they can earn from this wheel. They can still leave $1,000 as the house minimum, but you can put a $200 space on the wheel. You can put... You can put $200 space on the wheel, $300. Because back in the era when the wheel the minimum was like $250, I thought that was perfect. Like $250, just enough to buy a valve. But like I said, if you want to add some of the classic feel of Wheel of Fortune back in there, raise your valve price to $500 wheel. And drop the minimum amount from $500 back down to $250. People work for their money, but it'll be, it'll be well worth it, though. It cut their budget a little bit. People spend more. They'll give out less, but hey, they can keep more money in their pocket. Just saying. And Paul gets the chance for the groceries for a year, but that's going to stay in the wheel. So now it's my turn. Let's go! And that's going to be 400. How about an R? Vanna Snap! No! King with the Vanna Snap says no. And I guess I'm gonna have to live with that. 
And Gina with the big money, $2,500. We've only got one of them. Good for you. And it's just to cash in. Not so much help She's got $4,250 now. What is she going to do? She's going to spin again. All right. I'll see you, Gina. Gift picks up two fifty. Z, really? Uh huh. Oh, well the Z pretty much gives away the puzzle now, at least to me. And is she gonna hit that fail sauce? Yes, she is. Hashtag fail sauce right there for the loser turn. Paul, giving her, giving himself a spin now. Gonna get 200. I don't believe it. You know how many there are? Two. Two ends there. Gives Paul $400, and he's gonna spin it again. And manages to get away with tree fitty. Yep, no L for you, Paul. I'm sorry. Player one, go! Okay! I'm sorry, I always found it funny when King did that. My turn. Can I pick up groceries for a year? Yes! Gee! Not bad, there's one. I will take that. I get $500 for picking up the prizes uh, well. Now I'll buy a couple vowels with it. I. Three eyes up there. And I'll end by the E as well. Well, wouldn't you know it, we have three of them. No more vowels to buy. Either you'll spin. Or you'll solve. Got groceries for a year, got no cash, but you know what? Let's see if we can get a little cash with that. Wheel's still fairly safe right now. I'm gonna see if we can get that 500 right back with a W. There's a W. Do I dare trust my luck again? Um, let's go. Come on, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. No whammies. And 500. Okay. X. Now solve it. Buzzing with excitement. There we go. Those groceries for a year were $7,800. Give me $8,800 for this round. Like a professional. And an overall score now $10,800 is what I've got. After two rounds, not again. That would be a phenomenal score through '91 era of Rio, but we still got more, more to get to. So let's continue on with our third round puzzle. All right, here comes round three. We now have the $3,500 space on the wheel. We have another prize out there. It's a video game package. We have a $1,000 space back on the wheel again, and we have this puzzle. King. Okay? The category is people. People who need people. And Paul's going to start us off. Paul gets 200. D? Well, what do you know? There's one. Yes. $200 for the D, and he spins away. $200 again. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. Here's a Y. Why are you picking these bad letters so early in this one? I don't know. But anyway, Paul's up to 400 as he spins the wheel again and manages to dodge the broke space for 600. And picks up a C. Even $1,000, baby.
Now, I will say this much. With the current layout the way Wheel of Fortune is today, I think the era of the 1991 Round 3 wheel kind of helped inspire what the sort of the wheel layout looks like today as just looking at how things are placed on the wheel right now. So, at least that's just how I see it. Could be wrong, but that's just how I feel. 400 for Paul this time. Picks an S. Good pick. There's three of them. And he says three. I give him three. $200 more for an even $3,000. Will he get the video game package? No, he gets 800 Goes for the I N. I think we can possibly give you two. Yes, we can. Yep. Forty-six hundred for Paul as he spins again. Looks like nine hundred on this one. Picks a W. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Eight. One. Oh. <laughs> one of these days is gonna be. Anyway, he picks. He's up to fifty-five hundred. He's playing that catch-up game the hard way on this one. Uh oh, be careful! Be careful! Nope, manages to get away. Five hundred. We've got three of them in the puzzle. Okay. That's an even seven thousand dollars now. He finally buys his first valve. Here they come, two O's, and going for it again. And Paul's going to get about two fifty. T. Not one, not two, but three in the puzzle. Three T's up there. And nothing but vowels left, so he's got to buy a vowel to solve the puzzle. Three A's. He solves the house, ways, and main committee. That's it. Paul keeping the wheel to himself in that round. Oh, because solving all these puzzles. Good job, man. Way to go. Didn't want to share with anybody, but that's respectable to go. Seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars is what he gets there. Not too far behind me right now, but a good game of wheels going on. Gina's gonna try to get on the board in this next round. If we go to round four, it's time for that classic five thousand dollars space on the wheel. Big money up for grabs here in this round. Again, ninety-one five thousand is still a lot of money today. People say they should increase the big amount on the wheel. I say no. Leave it alone. If you start messing with stuff, it's just going to make it more complicated. But anyway, there's our wheel layout for round four. And here's a puzzle. The category is thing. One. Singular. Finally. I got it right. Shut up already. I got you, King. Sorry. I'm never going to make fun of you. And we have our first red letter puzzle of the day. In our fourth round here, so... Chance for bonus money for whoever solves a puzzle. Unscramble the red letters to form a word. If they can do that, that will give them an addition, some additional cash. I'll start by picking a T. And picks up two T's for $1,800. I'll spin again. Neither one of them are red letters, so we'll go on. Maybe a surprise? Yes, it can be. Let's see an N. Two N's. All right, picking up the surprise wedge there. That could be mine if I solve the puzzle. Our first red letter of the board of the puzzles up there. I'll buy an E. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. Of course. There's two hundred fifty dollars for a red letter E. Can I have an I as well? Two I. There we go. Um, I'll try my luck. A. All right, one A. It's also a red letter puzzle. All right, so far I can spell the word nay. N-E-A. After that, I don't know. But anyway, two, I for, just now notice we have two prizes out on the wheel, and I'm hitting the fail zone. It's beginning to look a lot like the next player's turn. Time for them to take their turn. Thank you, King. If I have to fail, I might as well fail in song. Gina, you're up. I 
I need more musical fails in the in the game. But again, that's me asking for everything in the world. I'm not expecting it to ever happen. So that's okay. If you picks up a scene, put some money in your bank. I, we got a groceries for a year back out there on the trip to Japan on the wheel. And she only spends two fifty. It's an R. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Three. Three R's. Nice pickup there. Up to a thousand dollars. You ain't gonna spin again. And two fifty. Picks a P. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. One. Of course. See, here's the bad part. I now know the puzzle, but I won't get to touch the wheel again. As we get about 350. Pick some S, no S. Paul, over to you. Paul spins and gets 200. Picks the D. Hey, that's pretty good. There's two. Two Ds up there. And he's gonna spend one more time. And he's gonna pick up 250. Gets an L, no L's. My turn, but we're almost out of time for this episode. That means it's time for that final spin. That sound means final spin. My turn! Alright. Final spin, ask you the puzzle, you'll have five seconds to solve it. Vows worth nothing. Confidence will be worth a thousand dollars. Plus a good spin, fifteen hundred, so twenty five hundred dollars a letter, and it's my turn. I'll take the G. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. One. There's nothing but vowels left, so I'm gonna solve. Indoor. Outdoor carpeting. There it is. Well, look at you over here solving puzzles. Congratulations, you've done it. Three thousand five hundred fifty dollars for that. Plus, I get the surprise, and that surprise is a trip to Huntsville, Alabama. Go to space camp. Yeah, go to space camp. That trip for five thousand seven hundred seventy-one. And now for 4,000 more, I'm scrambling the red letter to see if I can make a word. We got U-D-O-A-P-E-N-G. I have no idea what that word could be. What is it? Poundage. That's a hell of a word for $4,000. All right. Tough time there, but hey, $9,321 for that round. 20,121 sends me to the bonus round in this one. Paul did a very good job with 7250 in second place. And Gina's not going to go empty handed. She's going to get that $1,000 for playing. But all right, 20,121. We're going to see if we can add another 100,000 to that playing our bonus round of the day. Let's jump into it. Alright, you, you made it to the bonus round. So, only thing to do now is spin that wheel and let's see what you'll be playing for. Alright, let's do it. Around and around and away she goes. And I'm going to stop at the I and spin this time. Let's take a look at our final puzzle. Hopefully solving a bonus round puzzle. Start off, of course, with the R, S, T, L, N, and E. Let's see how many of those we get. Not much right, help there. down here. It's time to get serious. Solve this puzzle. Three consonants, one vowel. All right, so got our work cut out for this one. What are you doing? 
Well, we're playing the what are you doing rules, we're, obviously we're gonna kinda of pick the G. Maybe the only one in there, but at least feel no, better knowing I get one letter. And we'll pick the I as our vowel. It's a matter of picking two more consonants to go with it. Let's see. I think B is a safe bet. We'll go C, and we'll take the I. Uh, we got a crucial letter there that's going to help us. Twenty seconds. What are you doing? The category. Here we go. Being a being a beach boy. No. Being a beach bum? There it is! Ha <laughs> ha! Got it! B was a good choice. A very good choice. And that good choice has helped me won this! That was $30,000! I will take that happily. Thirty thousand dollars. Add the live one. The upfront game, I believe, a grand total now fifty thousand one seventy one. I think. Uh, no, sorry, fifty thousand one twenty one. Excuse me. Try to give myself an extra fifty bucks, but that's okay. I'm not mad at that. Fifty thousand one twenty one. And hopefully you enjoyed this little nostalgia trip down to back to 90s era of uh, Wheel of Fortune here. And uh, on our next episode, we're going to play gonna play some more. And I'm definitely going to put a twist to our game here, if you know what I mean. But you'll have to see what that twist is when you come back next time here on Big, or Big John's Wheel of Fortune here on MVG Productions. So thank you all for watching. Remember, if you like this series and want to see more of it, check out the playlist here on the channel. And if you want to see other great game shows of past, present, and future, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss um, all the funny games going down here at MTG Productions. Help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2019. But in the meantime, between time, until the wheel comes spinning our way once again and we have the chance to win more cash and prizes, I'm your host, Red and Scrub, saying thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for more of America's Game. Take care. Bye for now, folks.